so sorry there hasn't been a video for two Saturdays, but I'm uploading one now. I just went on schoolies last week, and so I was really, really busy before that, and so I didn't have time to film two videos. It's just going to be making these really, really, really cute snowman lights that you can hang on your bed, or um, I don't know, across your room, anywhere that you like, really. They could go like above a window frame. That would look pretty cute as well. But they just look really, really cute. I don't think I've seen a video with these kind of things made in them before, but I also think they're really cute to be festive for Christmas because I've seen many people use these ping pong balls to, you know, just create lights, just a single one, but I thought it would be really cute to make snowmen. So they're just really, really, really cute. I made them have like a little orange nose um, and the black eyes and the buttons and, of course, a scarf and a hat. I'm going to hang them in my room. I think they look really, really cute. So I really, really, really hope that you like it. <laughs> and so if you like uh, you know, the snowman that you just saw, then make sure that you keep watching because it's really, really not that difficult. It's actually really simple to make. You will need some ping pong balls, two for every snowman, an orange and black sharpie, a knife that you can cut the ping pong balls with, some red and black paper, a hot glue gun, and lastly, a glue stick and some scissors. First thing you want to do is draw the eyes and the mouth onto the face of the snowman. Next, taking the orange sharpie, draw the carrot nose onto the snowman. Taking the second ping pong ball, you want to draw three buttons down the front of the snowman's body. Next, you want to take a glue stick and glue all over a page of white paper. Now you want to take your black paper and just stick that down to the white paper underneath. I decided to go with black tissue paper because I thought it would give a really cool texture to the hat of the snowman. Now you want to take your scissors and cut a strip about an inch wide for the hat of the snowman. Now you just want to measure how wide you want the hat to be. And then cut it to that length. Now you want to cut a circle into the bottom of the snowman's head. Then you need to do the same thing to the top of the snowman's body. This will allow for the light to go right through to the snowman's body. Now you want to take your glue gun and glue around one of the circles and now you want to hold them both together for about a minute just so it stays in place and you've got the base of your snowman. Taking the knife again you want to create a cross on the top of the snowman's head to push the light through. Now you want to take the end of the knife and push it through the head to make sure that the light will be able to fit through. You want to take a red piece of paper that you can cut a really small strip out of that you can use as a scarf for the snowman. Wrap the strip around the snowman's neck so you can measure how long you need it to be and then take your scissors and cut off the excess. Place some hot glue on the end of the strip. I found that it's easier to leave a small gap between the end of the strip and the glue so that you can hold down the piece otherwise it flicks up all the time and it's much more difficult to place on. Now you want to take another small strip of red paper and cut a really small piece and glue it right onto the side of the snowman so that it appears like the scarf is coming down. Taking your black paper again, you want to cut a circle out of the black paper that can sit on top of the snowman's head and appear as the rim of the hat. Take your glue gun and create a circle on the bottom of the circle. And then just stick that on the snowman's head. 
you want to create that crisscross incision through the hat as well so that the light can fit through. Again, taking the opposite end of the knife to create the hole in the snowman's head so the light can pop through. Taking the cylinder that you created before, you want to add some glue down the side of it and glue it together. Create another circle of glue around the hole that you have in the top of the snowman's head. And then just hold the cylinder on that for a while. Now you can make those final touch-ups with the Sharpie. For example, I'm fixing up the nose that I've created to make it more vibrant. Create a few more of these and stick the heads through the lights and then you're done. How to make these little cute snowmen. I am so happy with them, like absolutely ecstatic. In Australia it's actually summer at the moment so it should only be up for Christmas but not, not for summer and then I can always use them in winter again. Not that it snows here but still. But I just think that they're, they're really really good for a wintry season and I think they really match my room. My room's kind of a wintry colours so it matches really really well. I really really hope that you like it and if you did then please give it a thumbs up. I'm that would make my day by far make my day subscribe if you would like to so i'll see you next time guys thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it